sure you've seen by now that if we go out to a public place, like a store or something, then we, it's strongly recommended that we be wearing a mask. But the problem is, is that stores aren't selling masks because there are none. And so people have had to go to great lengths to make their own masks. And you got some that just start off with an old t-shirt or some other type of cloth. But then you got those that'll take a five-gallon water jug and make it into a helmet type thing. Or then you got those that just love to mess with people. And they'll just get out an old pair of their underwear and wear that over their head. And there's just something that's really kind of disturbing by that, isn't there? But, you know, a guy's got a lot of guts who is willing to put his old underwear on as a mask. Well, you got those, too, that just say, I'm not going to be stifled by any mask or uh, muzzled by it. And as I thought about that, you know, there's a spiritual thing there, isn't there? Because we can feel like we're muzzled before God sometimes, like he's distant or he's not hearing us. And maybe that is you today. Well, I want to encourage you through the prophet Daniel. Now, I want to just do a little promo. This coming Sunday, George is going to kick off a series that we want to do through the summer months on Daniel. And we're going to learn a lot of really cool faith lessons from Daniel and his friends We're also going to get a really interesting picture of the end times. Now, when we come to Daniel chapter 10, we see Daniel struggling. He's fasting, he's praying, and he's weeping. Why is he weeping? Because he's worried about Israel. We understand that exile for Israel is ending. And so Daniel's wondering, well, now what? What's going to become of Israel and his conflict always going to be swirling around his people? Well, there is an angel. Many believe this to be an angel. Comes and ministers to him. And I want to read Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. It reads, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and humbled yourself before your God, your words have been heard and I have come because of your words. You know, the first thing that strikes me here is actually in the uh, previous verse, verse 11. And it says, Daniel, you are beloved by God. You are greatly loved by God. Number two is Daniel has humbled himself before the Lord and his faith is totally in him, regardless if it's good times or bad times. And third, when Daniel cries out, God meets him where he is at. That is powerful. I want to encourage you with that today. And let's just be real. Are you worried today? Are you panic stricken? Are you worried about money? Are you worried about your job? Are you worried about your kids? Are you worried about contracting the coronavirus? Are you stuck in a nursing facility and no one comes to see you? Have there been plans that you've made that have been canceled? Or are you worried about the summer and really cool things you want to do now you might not get to do? You know, when you cry out to God, I want you to see God coming, sitting with you, and encouraging you. God will come and meet you where you are at. He loves you. I think of Becca Wyman and Amy Rittering. Many of you know that they have been in our youth room over the past month or more, and Amy was diagnosed with the coronavirus. But Moise, her son, and Becca uh, tested negative. How is that? Because we prayed. Because we cried out to God, and He met them where they are at. God bless you, hang tough, and I'll see you soon.